Hi, this is Dan Abbott, and I am making a video for my parametric modeling and mechanical design classes and how to create your own template in SolidWorks. And I'm starting in AutoCAD. And the reason I'm starting in AutoCAD is because it's very difficult, from my experience, to create a decent title block in SolidWorks. And the title blocks that come shipped with SolidWorks are, well, they're terrible. So you're going to start by drawing something in either draft site, which is something that ships with uh, with um, SolidWorks and is an AutoCAD clone, or AutoCAD, or any other program that's a two-dimensional program that's easily used for doing things like title blocks. And I'm going to create this title block in model space, not in a layout, but in model space. And now I'm going to save it. And I'm trying to simplify this as much as possible. So I have, sorry, I have uh, two layers. Well, layer zero is always there. Layer BOR for any of the lines here, so they are a little thicker. And then I have a, a, a layer for titles. And the titles are the anything at all, any text that's on the drawing. Got a little logo here, and just to make it something that bring, comes over to SolidWorks easily, I didn't fill it in or give it a color. Um, you just, you know, I'm going to make a change here. That's an old standard now was used primarily by a lot of people before the 2018 standard became more widespread. At any rate, so this is a metric title block. It's got the third angle projection symbol in there. And I want to use this to create a template file for SolidWorks. I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go to SolidWorks. And in SolidWorks, in order to use an AutoCAD drawing, I'm going to go to the File menu and I'm going to open an AutoCAD drawing. I need to go over to All Files, go to Autodesk, DXF, and DWG, which is right here. And now I go and find that file that I just created, and that file I just created is one called TB Metric Zone. And, when it, and it gives you some choices. One of the things you can use an AutoCAD drawing or any other DXF or DWG drawing file for is to bring it into a part file to use as a sketch in a part. That's not what I want to do. I want to turn this thing into SolidWorks entities. Don't embed this as a native format. Just leave it selected the way it is with create a new SolidWorks drawing and convert to SolidWorks entities. Go to next. Now you can decide which layers you want to bring in. I don't need layer zero. I'm just going to eliminate it. There's nothing on it. Right now, it looks like this on a sheet of paper, which is going to be something we fix in a minute. It says import this sheet as model. We're going to leave it just like that. And then we're going to go to the next. Now here's what we tell it. It's not inches, it's millimeters. It's not E size, it's a B size landscape. And this normally works best from my experience if you center the whole thing. Pick finish and now it's going to open a SolidWorks drawing and it's going to be in the drawing itself. Now there may be a more direct way to get this into a sheet format. Oops, you'll notice that, yeah, that didn't come in, that hatch. That's okay. We can put it a hatch pattern in in SolidWorks. What I'm going to do now, this is actually entities that are on a sheet, not a sheet format. What I really want is for that to be the sheet format. So what I'm going to do, it does have a little bit of line weight to it, does it? Come over here and look at border thickness, 0.35. Is on the layer board. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is copy all these. Actually, I'm going to cut all the entities here. I'm just going to put a circle around the whole thing, uh, a rectangle, and I'm going to Control X to cut it. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to go in and do an Edit Sheet Format, and I'm going to do a paste, and I'm just going to paste it like that. Now it always comes in off center. It probably is based somewhere, somewhat on the cursor. But now I'm going to grab everything again by putting a rectangle around it. Go up to the Move Entities under the Sketch Bar. Go over here to Start. And I'm just going to take the corner. And I'm just going to, you know, by eye, put it where it looks good. And it looks good to me right there. So now we have a sheet format. <clears throat> now we can do whatever we want to do in this thing. Make some changes if you'd want. If I want to fill that in. I should be able to go to annotation and do an area fill just to see sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, those are closed shapes, but again, when you bring stuff in from another program, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. What I could do if I really wanted to is redraw that. I'm just going to leave it. That's close enough to the school logo. 
Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go back to edit sheet. So now I can't do anything with this. It's just like all the other sheet formats in SolidWorks. Now my point is to make a template file where this sheet format is used in the template file. In order to do that, I'm going to go to File, Save Sheet Format, and then sh save the sheet format that is being used for this drawing with a name of some kind. So I will call it TB Metric. There's already one there because I went through this once. I'm going to replace it so the one I have here is the one. Now here's the key, and when I did this demo in class, what I failed to do was to start a new drawing using this sheet format before becoming, before turning it into a template. If you make it a template right now, and then save it as a template file, going to the next layout is going to give you a blank screen, just like that. So what I need to do is to say I'm going to start a new drawing file, and again, my purpose here is to make a drawing template file. Start a new drawing file, pick OK, and then select that template. I mean, I'm sorry, select that sheet format that I just saved. That's this one right here. And when I pick that, it comes in, says, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. I say OK, and it comes in like that. Now, if I do it this way, every time I add a sheet, it's going to use the same sheet format. So if let me just cancel out of that. If I go to the next sheet, it has a sheet format. I go to the next sheet, it has a sheet format. So this is the way you want to start a template file. Now, because it's a template file, my first sheet, what I want to do is to go up to Options, and I want to make a bunch of changes. And those changes are going to be changes that make SolidWorks behave correctly under the ASME standard. One of the things that it doesn't do is to use ASME, even though it's selected, correctly. So right now, if I were to put a dimension on this sheet, the chances are pretty good, we'll find out, chances are pretty good that it's not going to dimension properly, even though it says ANSI, it's going to dimension with a sort of modified ISO standard. The layer is off. All right, we have layers right here. Uh, layer zero is off because I said I don't want to use it, so I'm going to make a new layer here for, for sketching on, and that new layer um, I'll just call it OBJ because I need an object layer anyway. And I'm going to set this, the uh, line weight for that. It's supposed to be a metric drawing though, isn't it? Yeah, right now it's set for inches. Let me go and make it set for millimeters. Okay, now um, I would go up to Options, under Options. I would do a few things. And one of those things is to change it from ANSI to ISO and then back to ANSI. And the reason for that is this. I'm just going to put a rectangle on here. Oops, is this still off? I thought I had already changed that. Apparently, I undid what I already did. All right, let's make a new layer. OBJ. Oh, I know, because I canceled out because I got here and I didn't see 0.35 and I realized I was no longer in a metric drawing. All right, now I'm going to sketch this rectangle and it comes up with dimensions on it. I'm going to place a dimension here and you'll notice that dimension is sideways. That's not the ANSI standard, that's the ISO standard. So this ANSI st standard isn't being applied. It's a glitch in the last two releases of SolidWorks and I keep waiting for them to figure out to fix it. If I go here to ISO and I pick OK, it actually changes it because it adds more precision. If I then go back, I made another little video about this too, just this one thing. If I then go back to ANSI and come back out again, now it is the ANSI style. Now I can just delete that because I only did that just to make this work right. Now from now on, my experience, it will apply it correctly if I use this as my template file. But there are a number of other things, and I've gone over these in the classes, a number of other things you need to make changes on. If you look at dimensions, Right now, um, your dimensions, if you go to font, are set for a sort of odd size, 3.175. Well, that's a, that's a hard conversion from an eighth of an inch, but it's kind of a ridiculously precise size in millimeters for something. And you can go down as much as, down as far as 2.5 and have it be readable, which means quite readable, but it also means you can get more dimensions in sometimes. 
if the text height is 2.5, then the arrowhead should be 2.5. Oh, I didn't mean to come up. The arrowhead should also be 2.5. And then up here, that should be one third of the um, size of the arrowhead. So I'm going to just make that 0.8 close enough. I keep hitting escape, I hitting enter, I mean, because I was using AutoCAD to create that, that title block. And when I'm using AutoCAD, I start working like I'm in AutoCAD. All right, I'm going to stop that now. So now we have the ANSI modified. Now the precision here, because it's a metric drawing, it probably wouldn't need to be more than two decimal places. But then down here, under trailing zeros, we want to change that from show to remove because you don't use trailing zeros in the metric system. Um, now we've got the arrowhead size is okay. The only other issue right now, and there's a few other things I would do in, in center marks and the hidden line type um, definition that I've gone over in other places, so I'll leave that. Oh, you know what though? Extension beyond the dimension line. Out of SolidWorks for some reason puts the extension lines, they just way, way too long. 1.5 and 1.5 for the gap are um, more like what we would normally do in the United States. Line font is a big one. Visible edges are set to 0.25 by SolidWorks, which is literally the size of a thin line in the United States if you're doing it by hand. Actually, it's um, even thinner than a thin line if you're doing it with a lead holder. So we want to change that to 0.35. And 0.35 is approximately twice the thickness of all the other lines. Now, Let's just say we're good. We've got a template. You can make any other changes you want to make here as well. One thing for sure, right click, go to properties, and just make sure that we're look, working in third angle projection. Um, what, at one time, until a few releases ago, everything was defaulting to first angle because Dassault is a French company. They use first angle projection. We don't use first angle projection here. Now you can go ahead and say, let's do a save as. And we're going to save this as a template file. So we go down here, drawing templates. And you know, I've got a place for my drawing templates. And just so we can differentiate this one from all the others. And you notice the template files have a different extension than the sheet format file. Um, let's just uh, call this one demo B size metric. So we know that's what we're doing. Now I'm going to save it. Now, every time I start a new file, I have an option. And instead of going to Novice, I'm going to go to Advanced because I have placed my, yeah, right there. I have placed all of my templates in a folder that is in the path. And if I go here now and open that up, I'm starting with that template. I don't need to go through and make all those changes. The reason I made this second video for the class is because the last time I showed you this, I had you making the actual template right after bringing in and creating the sheet format. But you notice I've still got three sheets at that sheet format. And if I add any more, they're all going to use the same sheet format. Um, and that's just a lot, a lot less trouble than um, having to start this thing over again every time. Actually, while we're here, why don't we... So again, this is my template file. I'm going to save it again as a template. I'm going to show you a couple things. The center marks are a, a problem in SolidWorks as well. And it doesn't appear that anybody at the so really understands why they're a problem because they think that center marks should get bigger and smaller as the scale of a particular view gets bigger and smaller. And that is not true. I don't know if it's true in the ISO standard or not. But this scale by view scale thing, we got to get rid of that. Now, by default, I've got this thing to set to extended lines. But we also have a situation up here where the size of the center mark is just not right, in my opinion. So 1.5 and 1.5 is going to give me a center mark that looks much more like the center marks that I would normally use. You can also set up a layer for putting all your center marks on. I wouldn't necessarily do a separate layer, but I do have a layer for dimensioning and I put all the center marks on the dimension layer and you can select that layer to put them on automatically. So when you do place center marks, you don't have to go and move them around. You do the same thing with dimensions. As long as you go to, not the general dimension category, but 
every individual dimension category. It gives you an option for layer. Now, the layer has to exist. So you have to have already created it. But when you're done, you now have a situation where as you're placing center marks, they look better, in my opinion, and um, they're closer to the, to the ASME standard. And they don't get bigger and smaller based on the, on the uh, plot scale that you're using. And again, I don't know why anybody thought that at the so, but I do know I, I do know there have been some companies who have discussed that with them and why that was the default, and they've been told that that's the way it's supposed to be. So, at any rate, that's um that's enough for this for right now. I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll uh, post it.